Dear friends, today I will tell you what kind of motivation should you be given for success. Our thinking should be completely positive. It should not be negative. How do we take that thinking in a progressive way? Today we will learn that. First of all are these four principles. You have to change your thoughts. Success lives in your thinking. It is nowhere outside. The first principle is to count your God gifts only. We think every time about everything in our lives. We have to see what is that we think. We have to think about the numberless gifts given by God. God has given us such gifts as will make our thinking positive. God has given us ears eyes and many other organs like mind and heart. You have to think about them as much as possible. You have to ponder, ponder over each to realize that each is priceless. For example, our eyes. To create an eye, God has joined millions of cells. If God wanted man to be unsuccessful, he would have made man blind, deaf or dumb. We would not have hands. We would not have legs. But this is not the case. God has given us all the powers. We are given eyes, ears, legs and hands. We have to choose our success with the help of these. Always keep in mind that you have all the factors to make you successful. Just be thankful to God. Say thanks to God every day and march forward with a divine power. You have blood in you. God before making the blood made a lots of herbs, vegetables and fruits so that man can live happily and successfully. The second thing you have to take care of is to increase your capacity. You will not be successful if you will work on normal pace. Take an example of a diamond. Diamond is single. It is precious and not easily available in the market. But still there is a great demand of it. You consider yourself a diamond. Your efficiency and efforts should be such as to create your demand in the market. You have to make yourself precious and unlike others. When man touches something it becomes worthy. All the big multinational companies, multinational corporations have men force in them and nothing else. And they are operating in many countries. So you have to increase your worth. You have to work in such a way that your skill is valued and it is not equaled by others. Your skill should be your own alone. Don't copy others. Be original. Proceed with your best efforts and understanding and I assure you that you will get success. Third is one more kilometer for success. It is a principle that you'll find nowhere. If you think that you will receive success at a point, at a given point, then you are wrong. You have to walk a mile more to achieve success. Just one kilometer more because success always lies ahead of your thinking. So you always think with patience. If you have worked very hard, you studied very hard but didn't get the job. Suppose you did some business but failed in that. At that point of time think that it is the first step and that you have to move 10 steps more. In one mile there are numberless steps. Whenever you feel, consider, whenever you fail, consider that the first step 
and keep in mind that the last is much ahead. Fourth principle is to make the use of choice. You can choose. God has given you multitude of powers. You have to choose among them. You have to decide where you will use them. You are given powers, but to use them honestly and wisely depends upon you. You may like to love or hate somebody, but the choice is finally yours. Even one is your enemy, you should love him and not hate him. If someone deceived you, even then you can decide to love or hate. You have to control your feelings, accept love because it is required for success. Hate or fear will lead you towards failure. Either you will kill or be killed, but in love, only sacrifice is there. Second is to laugh or to cry. We can either be happy or sad. Sometimes we are sad due to some unavoidable situation. But what is the use of being sad? God has given you two powers here as well. You have to select one. Either be happy or be sad. Then why not to be happy? Why not to laugh? Life is for laughing. Life is to laugh. Next is appreciation or complain. Some people appreciate others, whereas some other complain. But that is not good. Even if no one appreciates you, you should appreciate them. If you appreciate yourself, it becomes self-praise. But when you appreciate others, it becomes as your appreciation too. Next is donation or stealing. You have to choose between them as well. You can either donate or steal. Why not to donate for some cause? You can donate to people for some good cause. You can distribute free food, can give free ed education, can do some selfless social work. Instead of stealing things or food or work, it is good if you donate all of them. Next is doing work or avoiding work. There are some people who are very lazy. They shirk their work. They can never be successful. But your duty is to work. God has given you hands. God has given you legs so that you can work. So my dear friends, never shirk work and work wholeheartedly. After that comes living or suicide. Are you fed up with living with the word? and you want to die, again you have to make a choice. You can still live because only cowards attempt suicide and run away from the life. Remember you are given this life only once and it will not be given again. So my dear friends, live life fully. So you have to make choices if you want to succeed in life. Remember that you have to give love. Remember that you have to be happy. Remember that you have to appreciate others. Remember that you have to donate. You have to donate your eyes. You have to donate your blood and you have to donate education. Remember not to shirk work. Remember that you have to live. In spite of any problem, you have to live. You have to cope all the challenges of life and have to become successful. When the success will become your purpose, when the success will become your motive, then my friends, I rest assure you, you will definitely be successful in your life. And in your life, there would only be success and nothing else. Thank you.